My name is Brian Ward. I've got a small property, 140 hectares, uh, in the Bona area, which is just north of Aubrey. We did originally run fine wall merinos. Now uh, we're running uh, uh, Angus cattle just for purely grass fed and we're buying them in at about 370 kilograms and taking them through to about 630 kilograms live weight, so they're dressing out about 310 kilograms. It was a bare block of land, neglected hill country when I took it on, and we've now transformed it into a, a viable, sustainable beef farm. 30% of this place now in uh, native vegetation by fencing off big old trees and putting understory underneath them. So it's quite a mosaic pattern, uh, fenced according to topography, uh, arable from non-arable. Because when I came here, you couldn't find goannas and echidnas, etc. But now, and plus all the little birds, all of a sudden they've come back. So if we don't uh, have biodiversity uh, in the landscape, we won't have any of that. Fencing off uh, 30% of the place, it certainly hasn't decreased our productivity. In fact, it's increased our productivity. Uh, I think with the shade and the shelter, it certainly increased it. So there's been no lack of production through doing this. The animals in here are far more comfortable and warm uh, either side of this than they are you know, in a paddock where there's no trees at all. That big plantation all on the top, because that was a priority, because the wind used to fairly whistle across the top of that hill. And um, by putting that in, uh, there wasn't a lot of diversity in the seed, uh, but at least we got a big plantation there, and that solved that problem which changed the whole landscape as well, but it was mainly just to break the wind coming over the top of the hill. Bare erosion gully mm -hmm. coming down. So that was another uh, vision to, to fence that off and plant that. Big old erosion gully here, I put a big dam in here and that uh, all filled up. Rotational grazing goes from about uh, anything from five to seven days. So I keep the feed at about 100 mil uh, above, uh, above the ground. So we've still got good leaf coverage, good ground cover, and it makes a terrific difference to uh, the control of grasses and uh, the regeneration of the grasses. I think rotational grazing is the, uh, so important if you want to preserve perennial pastures and get the most out of your land, the production of your land, rotational grazing is the only way to go. Just looking at big old trees, watching them dying was a pretty sad uh, state of affairs. So I just wanted to have the aesthetics of the place and landscape of the place so it was a natural pro progression in my uh, uh, farming system. Visually everything is just so much uh, more beneficial. But when you look at it now, you're looking at all the wattles, looking at everything. Before you just look straight through there and straight up here just to be a bare ridge. Driving up on my right hand side, there were just dead and dying trees just in there. So that was a number one to try and retain the existing trees and to put some more uh, understory underneath there to protect those older trees. It's fantastic. Look at all the lovely big old trees I've saved. Mm. Just the, the difference it's made, with the aesthetics, uh, the benefits, all the other things. I think just you know, we, we have made an impact on the whole thing. So you really have a sense of achievement. At my age and stage, and just stop and look and just you know take a deep breath and think, well, you know, we've done so much and. What else, how else can we improve it?